my dear friends and welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a couple of easter eggs from the Book of Boba Fett trailer that most people missed. They both concern Luke Skywalker and could hold secrets to what the show is really going to be about. I want to give a shout out to Josh from Den of Nerds who talked about this in a recent video. He made some great points about how Grand Admiral Thrawn and Luke could play into the Book of Boba Fett and how the trailer that we got is deliberately misleading us into thinking it's just about Boba taking over the underworld when in reality something much bigger is going to come up that unites Boba and his rivals. Something that threatens the galaxy which would cause Luke, Grogu and Mando to come into the picture. After all, all three characters were rumoured to make cameos. In a massive way, the Book of Boba Fett will connect to the other shows of the Mandalorian universe and might even connect to Thrawn, the Grisk and the Imperial Remnant, just in time for the Mandalorian Season 3 next year. Now that theory aside, I want to point out something massive from the end of the trailer. It's a callback to Return of the Jedi and gives a little nod to Luke Skywalker when he came to Jabba's palace to rescue Han, Leia and Chewie. At the end of the Book of Boba Fett trailer, Boba says, please speak freely. Now, on the surface, this comes across as a threat, like speak freely and see what happens. And while this is exactly what's intended, it's also a little nod to Luke in episode 6 and shows an interesting parallel between Jabba as the ruler of the galaxy's underworld and now the successor, Boba. In episode 6, when Luke walked into Jabba's palace, he used the same Jedi mind trick on Bib Fortuna that Obi-Wan famously used in A New Hope to manipulate the stormtroopers. When Bib Fortuna goes to his master and informs him of Luke's arrival, Jabba seems reluctant to give Luke a chance. To which Luke replies, I must be allowed to speak. Jabba doesn't care though and remains stubborn before sending Luke into the Rancor cage. Now, in the Book of Boba Fett trailer, when Boba says the line, please speak freely, he's in the exact same position that Jabba was in. It's almost like an alternate response to Luke Skywalker demanding that he be given a chance to speak. The only difference is the approach that Jabba took compared to Boba. Now, we don't know who Boba is talking to in the Book of Boba Fett trailer, but it's clear that someone has come to the palace to speak with him, just like Luke did with Jabba the Hutt to bargain for the lives of his friends. But unlike Jabba the Hutt, who would throw anyone who spoke such insolence to his menagerie, a line that Fennec Shand uses in the trailer, Boba, while still menacing, is willing to hear out whoever he's speaking to. Now, while this is a long shot, imagine if Boba is talking to Luke Skywalker himself in the scene that this was taken from. We've heard a lot of rumours of Luke and Han Solo appearing in the book of Boba Fett, and for all we know, Luke is in this one. If Boba is speaking the line directly to Luke, then it will be a literal direct parallel to Return of the Jedi, with a contrasting outcome. We know that Robert Rodriguez has a profound admiration for the scene in Return of the Jedi where Luke enters Jabba's palace. There could be a direct parallel here, and perhaps the reason that Luke and Grogu visit Boba is that maybe they went to Din Djarin first, and he told Luke that he met Boba Fett and knows how powerful he is, and that he has a massive influence on the galaxy's underworld. Luke will have remembered him from the pit of Carcoon and goes to visit Boba. He might try to bargain with Boba and get his help as well as the aid of the rest of the underworld for this imminent threat that could connect to the Grisk and inadvertently the stories of Thrawn, Ahsoka and Ezra. As has been rumoured for a long time, Lucasfilm are trying to reinvent the story of Ed the Empire and the Zahn trilogy more generally with the characters of the Mandalorian universe. The Book of Boba Fett trailer deliberately tried to sway us from the true plot of the story, which is not just going to be Boba ruling the underworld. World. It's how it may start, but ultimately, a larger threat is going to cause a lot of these characters' paths to connect, and we're going to have to see where that leads. At surface level, though, this Easter egg is significant in and of itself. Let me know your thoughts of it in the comments down below. The Book of Boba Fett drops in just over one month, and I cannot wait to break every episode down and share my thoughts with all of you. And just before I go, guys, I want to show you something that just arrived. A couple of weeks ago, Tomar Morrison came to the UK and did a signing at Elite Autographs. I ordered a post of him to sign that comes with a certificate of authenticity. And so, here it is. It looks absolutely amazing and includes a shot from Chapter 14 The Rescue, where Boba took out those stormtroopers with his gaffy stick. I really hope we get to see more of this Boba in the Book of Boba Fett, and I'm sure we will. We did get a brief glimpse of that in the trailer. So with this poster, I've ordered a frame for it, which should be arriving at some point today. I'm really pleased I was able to get my hands on one of these, and I'm going to hang it up in my office. So that's all I wanted to say here, guys. Have an amazing day no matter where you are. May the force be with you always.